Roll that intro! Michigan. Damn. On YouTube, Michigan Dipper and Bones back for a brand new video. This is the Blue Lives Matter. Uh, we just got off of Instagram. We did a live thing up on there. So uh, as you can tell, we got the whole uh, package from uh, Mud Jug, the Blue Lives Matter. I know a lot of people thought it was the Chris Dips One package, but hey, that could be next week. You never know. But uh, like I said, we already got a dip in, got that Blue Lives Matter uh, can lid, so we don't need that. And uh, we got we got the uh, mud jug, the Blue Lives Matter, the roadie. I really like that roadie. That, that thing is pretty cool. Really cool. But uh, drinking a little beer tonight, you know. Hey! Anywho, drinking a little beer tonight. Plug a little Redneck Nation koozies. But uh, anyway, let's get right into the nuts and bolts of this. Blue Lives Matter. A lot of people are like, fuck the police, you know, they got a, they got a big grudge against the police. And, um, uh, you know, I know several, several guys that are police officers. One from my town, a uh, really great cat. Then, uh, old Cole and Wally. Y'all remember Cole and Wally, right? Uh, you know, they're, 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 uh, police officers down south. So those boys got a job to do. And then you get these idiots out there that think they're above the law. And that's why CNN and MSNBC and a lot of the fake news... They spin these stories about, you know, white cop kills a black kid. 90% of the time, the kids got a rap sheet from here to Tijuana, and they act like they should have special treatment. All these people protest, well, he shot my best friend. He, he was a good kid. Yeah, he was a good kid, all right, until he decided to rob a convenience store or rape an old lady or carjack somebody or whatever the crime may be. I just stand on it this way. I've never been in trouble with the law other than a speeding ticket, maybe a taillight out. God knows that's happened between you and I being in the same vehicle. But we're just cool about it. You know, we don't, yes sir, no sir. And But that's the thing, is the media, they just spin it and you take it hook, line, and sinker. And then we have all these movements. It's like everybody's got a job, including these police officers. You got a job, I got a job. And I don't know about you guys at night, but I just want to come home safe, you know? And that's all these guys want to do. They just want to do their job, uphold the law, and go home safe to their families. I don't even think half these criminals think about that these cops have a family waiting for them at home. Kids, wives, you know, husbands. You know, I, I just don't think that they think about this kind of thing because they're all wrapped up in their own little world. That and they're all screaming, fuck the police. And it's like, come on, grow the fuck up. If you're gonna do the crime, you're gonna pay and do the time. That's just the way it is in this country or anywhere else you go. You know, you go to another country, they'll put you in prison for fucking years for whatever kind of crime you did. If you steal something, they'll cut your hands off, you know? And man, I'm getting hot about it. You getting hot about it? Man, I'm getting hot about it. But uh, you know, that's the thing is they, these new, the news medias blow it up, the movements blow it up, and everybody thinks it's all hunky dory. Like they're, you know, all they're all invincible of some way, shape, or form. Like they're above the law. Nobody's above the law, and like I'm not above the law. It was just like a situation with a kid at work. Uh, he was going home the other night, and cops pulled him over, and he did a funny move while the cop was walking up. Well, next thing you know, the cop dragged him out of the car, handcuffed him, just literally ripped his vehicle to shreds and I, you know i said to him i says you know just think of this i says that one little move i says it could have been prevented and wouldn't have been a big deal and i says you know that's the thing is these these police officers when they're walking up to your rig they don't know if you got a gun and you're gonna shoot them that could be their last night on the job that could be the last night that these guys see their families and their kids husbands wives etc you know and it's like man People don't think about it. Anyway, I got a couple shout outs. Uh, Aubrey and Kyle, uh, I know you guys hounded me for shout outs. And uh, there's your shout out, Bones. I know you guys like Bones more than me, which hey, that's cool with me. 
Uh, other news, uh, we're almost at 6K on Instagram. Uh, we're a little bit, uh, I think we're over like 5,100, almost 5,200 on YouTube. Uh, our goal is to get the 6K on both of those. That's our goal. So uh, if you need anything, you can. I, you guys can always hit me up on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, any any which way, shape, or form. We'd love to hear your input. Uh, so next week's video is going to be about common sense. And God knows a lot of fucking people don't have common sense out there. So uh, if we don't see you around, we'll see you around. Here? Get out of here.